Hi everyone. So today I wanted to do a little video talking about my dream lineup for the Youth With You final group. So this was really hard to make because I'm in love with all of the members. Um, and you know, I'd be pretty happy with any final debut lineup um, from the top 20, but you know, I figured that since the show is ending soon, um, and this will be my last opportunity to release my dream lineup into the universe. Um, I wanted to little, uh, I wanted to make a little video. So I'm gonna start with my dream for the center position, and that is Lily Usi. Let me tell you this: this woman was made for the center position. She has solidified that since the theme song stage. She is a professional locking dancer. Her rapping and singing is always on point. Anyone who watches her stage will immediately fall in love with her. Um, and that's including Lisa from Blackpink. Anyone, um, you know, like the fact that she has a unique style that, you know, that's her androgynous look, um, means that as center, I think she can really set the group apart from other K-pop and C-pop groups um, and effectively deliver this message that, you know, a the group, this group is not just another generic girl group and they're here to defy the norm and there is no set definition for girl group and I think that's, you know, really important and an amazing message to have. Um, I've divided the rest of my picks into categories, so vocal, dance, visual and rap. Even though all of the girls I realised fit more than one category, I tried to put them into the category that they would be most known for once they debut. So starting with my vocal line, um, my first pick is Yu Yen. She's proven herself repeatedly to be more than capable of being a star vocal. She is also multi-talented, she's got the work ethic um, to be an amazing idol. And we know that from like all the videos of her just like grinding, grinding, grinding hard. Um, how much self-control she has with her diet shocks me. Because I don't know about you, I'm a massive snacker, I have no self-control. Um, so I've combined my next two picks into one. I know that's cheating, um, but I, <laughs> but you know, I figure uh, it's my dream lineup, so there are no rules here. Um, and it's mostly because I know that both of them making it into the group are uh, is a pretty slim probability since they are both pretty low on the ranks right now. That being said. My next pick is Flora, Dayeni, and Rowada Shu. Rowada? I don't know. Rowada Shu. Shu Tsumi. Rowada Rowada is amazing at singing and she's previously been trained in Mei Shun. A lot of the power vocals have already been eliminated, but I do think, you know, you want someone in the team that can you know, hit those high notes um, that you can always rely on to have that stable on stage. <laughs> vocal and I think that Rowada could be that public, could be that trainee or like that idol. Um, uh, Flora as well is amazing like for you know, vocal. You know in her opening stage she received an A, she can sing, she can dance, she can rap. She also has the visuals of a fairy but like since that first stage or like since the whole show she's been just criminally under edited underrated. I love her so much. Um, she constantly helps other trainees and I think she just would be a really like wonderful addition to the team. Both of them are quite low on the rankings right now but this is my dream lineup so you can't stop me from being a little bit ambitious. Um, my next pick for my dream lineup is for the dance line. So my next picks um, so my first pick for the dance line is Da Xiaotang and she is my ultimate, like she's my one true pick. I love her so much. Ever since that first stage, I knew that I would follow her forever. Um, to me, she's just an absolute swan. She went to Beiwu, which is the equivalent of, equivalent of China's Juilliard, which is incredibly impressive, right? Um, and you know, even though I think she's definitely more skilled at traditional dance right now because of her training and because of her like um yeah like traditional dance upbringing i think she definitely has like amazing um I, I, as in sorry I, I i think that it's really important these days to have that infusion of traditional elements into um modern girl groups i think it's 
it's really important for the preservation of Chinese culture. And yeah, I think that's why she um, has really impressed me. I think also she is completely stunning and she's got a great straightforward personality and I really, really love her. Um, the next pick I had, I couldn't choose between um, NT and like, I don't know how to pronounce this one, uh, this her, her name, um, but it's Yi and I'm gonna put like her name somewhere maybe, I don't know if I have the editing skills for that. Um, I think from on-stage results, uh, NT has proven to have better performance um, throughout th so far, um, however, I think I really love Xia's like attitude on stage, like just the absolute, um, I think, like charm that she carries. And you know, also off stage, people always look to her for guidance and help and care. And I think she would make a really, really great leader um, for a group because she is someone that everyone always looks to for guidance and help. Um, they are both from the same group and company. So choosing between them was like really impossible, but yeah, that's why I kind of am cheating again and I've chosen two people. I have very sadly not included any SNH girls in my um, final lineup, um, and that's including Kiki. Um, don't get me wrong, I actually really love them. This was the toughest decision I've ever had. <laughs> not ever, actually. Um, you know, they're all so talented, but when I was deciding, I was kind of thinking that since they already have had the opportunity to debut and you know even if they don't debut with the youth with you group they won't disappear from they won't disappear from the public they've um they'll still be releasing music and we can still follow them as idols and you know i'd rather give my position in my dream lineup to someone who doesn't necessarily have that opportunity um i've also not chosen snow kong I think she is mega talented. She's been in training since um, for eight years, so she definitely does deserve to debut. But personally, for me, I think she's just been in training to be that perfect idol for so long that I couldn't really figure out who she is anymore. Um, and I just find it really hard to connect with her beyond the fact that she is an idol. And you know, like I would be really happy if she did debut, but that's um, but that's why she's not in my top eight personally. But yeah, I do really like her. Um, my next picks are for the visual category of the team. So, um, for that I will start with the one and only Esther Yu. Uh, she, I believe, will be a variety legend. Um, she will also probably be the face of the group when she debuts, if she debuts in my dream lineup. Um, she is so cute. She's um, improving a lot on stage. I think you know every group needs someone who can bring that absolute crackhead energy, and I think she would be the one to do that. <laughs> um, next, I have Arya Jinjihan. She's so beautiful. She's truly like. Um, someone sent by the gods down to earth, an absolute goddess visual. She's also great at singing, she's great at dancing, she's very very multi-talented and her hair has a life of its own. It is just just as charming as she is and if her hair could debut separately I bet it would. Um, she's so soft, she's so precious and she's absolutely deserves to be protected and yeah that's why she landed a spot on my final nine. So finally, for my rap line, <laughs> I've chosen um, Shaking. Shaking. She came first for the first on stage um, performance. She's very, very talented. There's no doubt about that. Um, she's got a really great, like, authentic personality, and she's super, super funny. I think being in a group would really let her personality shine because she just gets along with everyone. Um, also, just in terms of rap, she is like an, op like a, as Eminem would say, a rap god. Um, I don't know why, I can't really find that video of her uh, rapping about the show, but, um, but you know, nevertheless, it was, it was really, it, it was really amazing. So, um, if you guys can find that, go find it. Um, I have chosen not to include Nightland in my rap line. Um, and like the question is why? Like why would you not include her? She is actually probably my second favorite contestant in the entire show. I voted for her for ev like I still vote for her occasionally. Um, 
like even though I only have one birch every day but I've chosen to not include her in my top nine and this is because I think she probably functions better as a solo soloist I think she would be great in a group um but I think she would have more creative liberty as a rapper if she was solo um recently I have not stopped listening to her solo work I think it's fabulous you guys should all just catch a listen it's on Spotify it's on YouTube I don't know if it's on iTunes, but you can give it a search. Um, but yeah, that is my top nine um, for my you know, uh, debut group. I, um, I actually really love literally the entire rest of the top 20. This was really difficult. Um, and especially Lil Koran, because like, I think she is so cool. Um, but you know, in the end, I made the executive decision that you know, she deserves to not be separated from Marco Lin Wing Fan. Anyways, so please um comment what your who your lineup, how your dream lineup is. And yeah, um thanks so much for making it this far. 